Tonight, so test, test. All right, you guys hear us? There we go. I thought, actually, kids, I thought I would just have a cozy seat. Now, I'm going to sing all night and just have her say nothing. Is that okay? <laughs> yes. What I thought I'd do is, yeah, say yes. What I thought I'd do is a little QA, question and answer with, between Cozy and I. And then when I get done with talking to her, you guys can ask some questions. So if you have any questions, be thinking about what they might be. And when we get done, you guys can do that, okay? You guys want to have some fun? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. So, Cozy. What was it like to, you've done a lot of, you know, you did, you've sung a lot, you did a lot of commercials. What was it like for you being involved in, in your first major motion picture and having guys like Harry Connick and Morgan Freeman and it's like big stars? What was that like? Well, it's a lot of fun just to be in a movie that isn't fake and it isn't, it isn't like a movie, like a scary movie or something like that. It's a movie that everyone gets inspired by, which is why you guys all are here. And it's so cool to meet all of you and to see how the movie is working around the world. Yeah, that's really cool. So tell us a little bit about, like, uh, all right, so who's some of the other actors you guys remember from the movie? Just put out some names. Nathan. Sorry, okay. There you go. Sorry, he's played by, he's played by a, a young man named Nathan Gamble. Oh, yeah, and just so you guys know, a number of things really had to happen for this movie to work well. If it didn't, you know, if some things didn't happen, it just wouldn't have been a great movie. And, of course, Sawyer and Winter, their relationship had to work very well, right, first and foremost. But also, Hazel and Sawyer, which is Cozy and Nathan, if they did not have the right chemistry, it just wouldn't have worked, right? And they did an awesome job. So Sawyer was played by Nathan Gamble. He was just a great young man also. So, Cozy, what was it like hanging with Nathan Gamble? Oh, he's a lot of fun, and I remember auditioning with him. It's funny, um, it's not just like you audition once in front of one person and they say, all right, you're the girl of tale. You have to, I auditioned with one nice man and I did my scenes. They give you like one or two scenes to audition with, and so I got the scene where I bump into Sawyer with a core of ice and I had to go back room as to no one in particular, which is funny in this little teeny room. But I auditioned with them and I felt really good about it. I didn't hear anything for like three weeks. And then finally, they called me back, which means I went all the way back up to Los Angeles, which is like two hours away from my house, did another five-minute audition with the director, and then drove two hours all the way back. So there's a lot of work going in, and you have to trust yourself and really work hard so that it's worthwhile. I didn't hear anything for like a month after that, and I thought I didn't get it. And I, I really did. And I asked my agent even, and she said, yeah, I guess you didn't get it. It's been a really long time. And the next day, she called and said I was in the final three. So it was really exciting for me. I went all the way back up, and this time I auditioned with three other Sawyers and two other people that wanted to be Hazel. And so we all were paired up, Hazel and Sawyer, different combinations for like three hours. That's crazy. And um, three days later, I was Hazel. Yay. Thank you all very glad she was Hazel, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to jump right into questions. Do you guys have any questions you want to answer? Just raise your hand. We'll go through one at a time, and you guys can answer whatever you want. I saw a hand go up back there first. 